All right, good morning, November 7th. Two days after the historical, awesome election. Checking on the yearlings. I think it is time to, gonna work on uh, next few days getting them home for the winter. Finally got them back in this backwoods here a couple weeks ago and uh, there's a hell of an acorn crop this year. And you can see in here, they have really torn up the acorns. A lot of red oak acorns this year. We only get them, you don't get red oak every year. Yeah, he's showing up and the switch ain't working, or fence is off. I haven't had a chance to get over here in several days. Hell of a lot of grass. Basically, these switches right there, that's a good quality Gallagher too, so we'll see one of the better switches, but those things do go bad. Well, is a is a hell of an election. We kind of had a uh, not even kind of. We just had a blowout landslide, a mandate, a rejectionism of this identity politics. You know that uh, that we voted. We didn't vote. Uh, we're supposed to vote because somebody is a woman or a. Uh, ethnic minority and you know Kamala Harris losing the election had nothing to do with her gender or her ethnic heritage <laughs> her origin rather and uh, it is just a mandate for people like us that work and pay taxes and work hard and uh, just want to be normal normal humans and not play the blame game it is just I mean this is even better, I think, than when he beat Hillary in 2016. Yeah, New World Order versus freedom and independence. Had a couple uh, friends of mine come down from Ontario that uh, I've met on, met through doing these videos, Thorsten and Lisa, and uh, they they came down, and you know they were. They were, they were in Michigan visiting, so they stopped by the farm, one of my farms last weekend. And, you know, they're, they're kind of looking at the U.S. as a bastion of freedom because of what's, you know, I, I, Canada, what's going on up there, freezing bank accounts. And they're like the U.K., uh, ticketing people, pen, you know, penalizing people for uh, speaking against any government directive narrative on social media and things like that and um you know he was wondering he goes what, what's going to happen down here he goes what do you think's going to happen i said I, I think trump's going to run with it and he goes what if he don't win it's going to be civil war and i said well they're not going to be civil war because our side's our side's the tolerant side and uh kind of that blind patriotism after 9 11 helped us you know, got trained to live with the Patriot Act, which was a, many of those provisions were just flat out complete violation of our constitution. But I told them that, you know, that blind patriotism is getting a lot of Americans in trouble. And we lost a lot of rights then. Patriot Act was a primer for all the lockdowns that we did during the COVID. And uh, that's why our side, I said, is the tolerant side. You know, we're not the violent side. But, uh, not opposed to using violence if we need to, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> but uh, to save our lives, save our freedoms. That's what this country was based on. But, uh, yeah, so I showed up here. Got these guys right in the pasture where I want them locked in. We'll start moving moving the facilities over here the next couple days to round them up. A lot of grass over here still. But if we actually start getting winter, it's going to be tough to get back in here. So I, it just simplifies things getting them home, but I could probably, I mean, truthfully be grazing a lot longer, but obviously issues with water and getting back here and say the grass gets played out within another month anyways, would you really gain? 
we, we've had really nice weather. Good, a good fall. So, um, so far. Oh. So this is a, uh, yeah, you can see you got some areas of clover. They, this is red, three year red, some Orion Ladino clover down in here. And uh, you see this fescue, this is a uh, endo graze tall fescue. And uh, as you can see, it has uh, it has stockpiled nicely. Uh, I like the, I was at a pasture walk recently, you know, and they're talking about what grasses stay good a while. And these new varieties of fescue are pretty leafy and stockpile quite nice, as you can see. 